vary you from? You know, the moment somebody asks me this question, I get irritated. I don't want to answer this question. I've lived all my life, almost half of my life in Germany. And if somebody asks me this question, I don't want to answer it in a nice way. <laughs> so I've decided next time somebody says, where are you from? I'm just going to have some fun with them. I'm going to play with them. So somebody says, where are you from? I say, Munich. Now they look at me. This guy doesn't look, he doesn't look German. He doesn't look Bavarian. I mean, look at him. I mean, something is off. He doesn't look Bavarian to me. So now they, now they get a bit interested, right? Now they they want to know more. So they say, where are you really from? <laughs> now, uh, being a Toastmaster and using words to your advantage, you just suddenly realize, how did this question suddenly become more intelligent by just because they added one more word? Where are you really from? And I, I still want to play. So I say, I used to live in Mannheim before I lived in Munich. Now, this is when people really get angry <laughs> because if you were born in Germany, you want to hear a country outside Germany. You know, they want to show that they went to geography class. They want to show off their geography skills. Germans are one of the biggest travelers in the world. They want to hear a different country, show off their expertise. So here's a trick question for you. Were you born in Germany? Now, how's that? Now, you can't answer that question without either lying straight on their face or saying something crazy, right? But then I decide to play still. And I say, were you born in Germany? No. And I close the conversation there. <laughs> and people really get angry. <laughs> now, now let's see. Let's try this out here. Where are you from? Munich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Where are you really from? <laughs> I am from Munich. I can go to the street. <laughs> Are you born in Germany? No. <laughs> See that? It really works. And you get you get really irritated, right? As, a, as somebody asking questions. Perfect. Now, off I go. Now, my, my wife is English. My daughter is German. And I'm Indian. Now, all three of us, we decide to go to Greece on a trip to the airport. What happens when an English woman, a German girl, and an Indian man go to the airport? The flight gets canceled, <laughs> right? No, but it did not get canceled. So what happened was all three of us are going towards the security check. Now the security check guy, he just wants a happy life. And he looks at the three of us and he's like, oh my God, look at this. They look like United Colors of Benetton. <laughs> <laughs> But then the guy looks at us and he says, you know, let me pick the easy one out there. He looks at the sweet girl. He looks at my daughter and he says, come on in. He has a look at a passport. It's a German passport. A German passport, the most powerful passport in the world. He's like, no, please go along. Then he, then he picks out my wife. You know, she looks okay. So she looks at his her passport. It's a UK passport. The damn Brexit scares. I've got to teach him a lesson. But then he looks at my wife. She's got a stern look on her face. It's just, oh, please, please go along. And then he looks at me. I'm like, it's going to be a long day. And he looks at me and he says, something is not right. How did, where are you from? But instead of asking that, he looks at my passport. It's an Indian passport. And he's, three things come to his mind. You know, you must be a refugee in Germany. <laughs> But you see, Germany doesn't have a lot of refugees, at least Indian refugees. You know, most of the Indians are either working in restaurants or, or they're working in IT. Where do you work in? Mechanical engineering. Oh, engineering. Oh, my God. For a dip, for a change. He does not work in the restaurant and he's not an IT guy. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, uh, so you're not a refugee from in India, sir. You must be a refugee from the UK. No, but nah, that's maybe not right because see, the UK has so many Indians. If another Indian walked in, nobody would know the difference. <laughs> but then what? What if I want to become a refugee in Greece? So he's got to be a bit careful. But then he, he looks at my wife again. And my wife, her stern look gets even more stern. And he's like, no, no, please, please move on. So the model of the story is if you are traveling in the, in the EU, travel with some European citizens, preferably not Brexiteers, but at least have one German with you. 
I used to be a software consultant, right? And I used to travel to Darmstadt Monday to Thursday, Monday to Thursday for one and a half years of my life. Now, how many of you have heard of Darmstadt? Mm -hmm. Darmstadt is the city of intestine. It sounds dirty, but it's very clean and boring. But uh, this is what we did, right? Every, the only highlight of, of this trip to Darmstadt was that we, we were able to go in the first class compartment, air conditioned with a, with a nice uh, newspaper handed to us. And every time we used to do this, we used to walk up to somebody and get them out of their seat because they didn't have a reservation because we had paid reservations. You know, the small joys in life. And this is what was happening after, it was Monday to Thursday. And Thursday, I'm coming back from downstairs. Tired, I wanna go and hit home. And guess what happens? A plain clothes policeman stops me and says, where are you from? Now, has any, has a plain clothes policeman stopped any of you here in this room? There you go. Where are you from? Me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this. This seems to be like everybody's playing the same game. <laughs> Where are you really from? I mean, I used to live in Stuttgart for nine years. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are packing on. Okay. Now, Tell me about this situation where a, a plain clothes policeman cut you. He just came to me and, uh, and asked me to show my ID. And what happened? Nothing. And you went home? Yes. <laughs> Good. So, so get, yeah, no, there's something similar to me. To this. I, mean, I was going with my friend. The, the plain clothes policeman stops me and he asks me, where is my ID? And um, and I think my passport, he wants to know where's my visa. So I show him my visa. My friends next to me, they're getting bored, right? You know, they want one guy wants to go to the bus, one guy wants to go to the Espan, and they want to make sure that I don't land up in jail because otherwise they'll have a lot of work to do. You know, they have a colleagues in the same project. But luckily I get home. Now, one week later on the Thursday, I come back and a plain clothes policeman stops me again and he wants to know where are you from? Seriously? You know, you can't say Munich and get away with that. And I ask him, you know, how come you're stopping me again? And the policeman is thinking, you know, you just fit the profile and that's why he stopped you. But he can't say that. So you know what he says? I'm just doing my job. So it's, did we have an Ausweisflicht in Germany? Did you not know that? Did you know about the Ausweisflicht? No. <laughs> Do you know that you need to carry your ID wherever you go? Even if you went to the sauna, even if you are <laughs> butt naked, you need to carry an housewife. Did you know that? How many of you go to the sauna or how many of you go to the FKK here? Nobody? You don't want to admit it? <laughs> but did you know that if you went to either place, you have to still take your housewife with you? Anyway, you got to ask the Germans. One last round. See, I grew up in India when television from the USA came in. There, Chris. And I believe in quality television, quality intellectual television. And I grew up watching Baywatch. <laughs> David Hasselhoff in his red underpants. <laughs> he was my hero. And I watched every single show. I think I must have watched it twice. And um, I was so excited because in India, in the small village where I came from, you had swimming pools with two different, one for women, one for men. And I came to Germany and swimming pools were like paradise. I thought swimming pools were Baywatch version two, season two. And, uh, but then I was in my mood. I was ready to go to the swimming pool. I had my red underpants, David Hasselhoff signed. And then I had my Birkenstocks with socks. And then I had a, a Aldi bag. I was <laughs> on my way to the swimming pool. I was dreaming of the time when I would jump into the water and save a damsel in distress. But screech, a police van stopped right in front of me. And two police officers came out. I thought, this, I must be really important if a police van stops right in front of me. These guys come out and they want to know, where are you from? And I'm like, oh my God. So he wants to see my passport. He wants to see my visa. And of course, I'm Indian. I don't take my housewives to the swimming pool. You knew that. And the, the police say, you want to get into the car? And this is where it gets really exciting, right? Now, this is a brand new BMW, a brand new BMW. The leather is still fresh. You can smell the leather. 
and the police officer is so nice. He puts me in. He makes sure that my head doesn't hit the police van. He puts me in. He makes sure that the side of my side of the door is locked. He also comes and sits next to me so that I don't feel alone. And to top it all, <laughs> there is the light on top of the, of the car and the light is on and it's rotating. Now, how many of you have traveled in a BMW with brand new leather <laughs> with, with somebody to sit right next to you with, with the light going off? Now, I was, it was my 15 minutes of fame. I was just hoping that this would last a bit longer. But then my apartment came and the police came in. He had a look. He said everything was fine. And the police guy, he actually got me back and dropped me right in front of the swimming pool. So if you want a free ride to the swimming pool, <laughs> just come to me for some fashion advice. Now, I've lived in Germany for more than half of my life. And when that question, where are you from, comes up, I'm no longer irritated because I know the other person is just curious. Maybe it's time to play. Woo! Thank you, Ranjit.